Good day everyone! We are now going to discuss about representing real-life situations using exponential functions. From Analyze Math Representing real-life situations using exponential functions Exponential functions occur in various real-world situations. Exponential functions are used to model real-life situations such as population growth, radioactive decay, carbon dating, growth of an epidemic, loan interest rates, and investments. Definition of an exponential function An exponential function with base b is a function of the form f of x is equal to b to the power of x or y is equal to b to the power of x where b is greater than 0 and b is not equal to 1. Let's complete a table of values for x is equal to negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3 for the exponential function y is equal to 1 third to the power of x y is equal to 10 to the power of x and y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of x. In y is equal to 1 third to the power of x. If x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 1 third to the power of negative 3. So that means it is 1 over 1 third to the power of 3. So that is 1 over 1 over 27. So you're going to um, divide 1 uh, by 1 over 27. So in dividing this, you're going to f uh, divide the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator so that becomes 1 multiplied by 27 so that is 27 if x is equal to negative 2 y is equal to 1 third to the power of negative 2 so that is 1 over 1 third squared so that is 1 over 1 over 9 so same uh, in the same method as the first one we're going to uh, divide the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator so that means this will become 1 times 9 so that is 9 if x is equal to negative 1 so y is equal to 1 third to the power of negative 1 so that is 1 over 1 third so the same thing as what we have did on the last solution. So we're going to divide 1 by the reciprocal of 1 third. So 1 times 3, so that is 3. If x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 1 third to the power of 0. So we all know that any number raised to the power of 0 that is equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 so y is equal to 1 third to the power of 1 so y is equal to 1 third if x is equal to 2 so y is equal to 1 third to the power of 2 so y is equal to 1 over 9 if x is equal to 3 so y is equal to 1 third to the power of 3 so, y is equal to 1 over 27. In y is equal to 10 to the power of x, if x is equal to negative 3, y is equal to 10 to the power of negative 3. So, y is equal to 1 over 1000. If x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 10 to the power of negative 2. So, y is equal to 1 over 100. If x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. 
so y is equal to 1 over 10. If x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 10 to the power of 0, so y is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to 10 to the power of 1, so y is equal to 10. If x is equal to 2, y is equal to 10 squared, so y is equal to 100. If x is equal to 3, y is equal to 10 to the power of 3, so y is equal to 1000. Next is y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of x. If x is equal to negative 3, so y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of negative 3. So using cal your calculator, so answer is 1.953125. If x is equal to negative 2, so y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of negative 2. So y is equal to 1.5625. If x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of negative 1. So y is equal to 1.25. If x is equal to 0, so y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of 0. So any number raised to the power of 0, so you will result to 1. So y is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0 0.8 to the power of 1. So, y is equal to 0 0.8. If x is equal to 2, so y is equal to 0 0.8 raised to the power of 2. So, that is 0 0.64. If x is equal to 3, so y is equal to 0 0.8 raised to the power of 3. So, y is equal to 0 0.512. Now, here is the table. Okay, next. If f of x is equal to 3 to the power of x, evaluate f of 2, f of negative 2, and f of 1 half. So, f of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 2, which is equal to 9. So, f of negative 2, so that is 3 to the power of negative 2, which is equal to 1 over 9. And next is f of 1 half. So that is 3 to the power of 1 half. And using the loss of radicals, um, 3 to the power of 1 half is square root of 3. Definition. Let b be a positive number not equal to 1. The transformation of an exponential function with base b is a function of the form g of x is equal to a multiplied by b to the power of x minus c plus d, where a, c, and d are real numbers. Many applications involve transformations of exponential functions. Some of the most common applications in real life of exponential functions and their transformations are population growth, exponential decay, and compound interest. Population growth example. Scientists will start with a certain number of bacteria or animals and watch how the population grows. Example. If the population doubles every three days, this can be represented as an exponential function. Let t be the time in days at t is equal to 0, there were 20 bacteria. Suppose the bacteria doubles every 100 hours. Give an exponential model for the bacteria as a function. At t is equal to 0, the number of bacteria is 20. At t is equal to 100, so number of bacteria is 20 times 2. At t is equal to 200, 
the number of bacteria is 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. At t is equal to 300, the number of bacteria is 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. At t is equal to 400, the, num the number of bacteria is 20 multiplied by 2 to the power of 4. So the exponential model is y is equal to 20 multiplied by 2 raised to the power of t over 100. That is because the bacteria doubles every 100 hours. Next, exponential decay. The half-life of a radioactive substance is the time it takes for the half of the substance to decay. Example, suppose that the half-life of a certain radioactive substance is 10 days and there are 10 grams initially. Determine the amount of substance remaining after 30 days. Solution Let T be the time in days. We use the fact that the mass is halved every 10 days from the definition of half-life. Thus, we have initially, at t is equal to 0, the amount of substance is 10 grams. At t is equal to 10 days, the amount of substance is 5 grams. At t is equal to 20 days, the amount of substance is 2.5 grams. At t is equal to 30 days, the amount of substance is 1.25 grams. So, the exponential model for the situation is y is equal to 10 multiplied by 1 half to the power of t over 10. That is because every 10 days, the substance is halved. Compound interest Principal is the starting amount of money. Principal can be invested at a certain rate that is earned at the end of the given period of time, such as one year. If the interest is compounded, the interest earned at the end of the period is added to the principal, and this new amount will earn interest in the next period. Next is the compound interest example. Mrs. De La Cruz invested 100,000 in a company that offers 6% interest compounded annually. How much will this investment be worth at the end of the year for the next 5 years? Let t be the time in years. Then we have, initially, at t is equal to 0, investment is equal to 100,000 pesos. At t is equal to 1, investment is equal to 100,000 pesos plus 100,000 pesos multiplied by 0 0.06 so that would be 100,000 multiplied by 1.06 which is equal to 106,000 at t is equal to 2 investment is equal to 106,000 plus 106,000 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is equal to 106,000 multiplied by 1.06 which is equal to 112,360 at t is equal to 3 investment is equal to 112,360 plus 112,360 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is equal to 112,360 multiplied by 1.06 which is equal to 119,101.60 At t is equal to 4, investment is equal to 119,101.60 plus 119,101.60 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is equal to 119,101.60 multiplied by 1.06 which is equal to 126,247.70 at t is equal to 5 investment is equal to 
247.70 plus 100 126,247.70 multiplied by 0 0.06 which is equal to 126,247.70 multiplied by 1.06 that is equal to 133,822.56 so the exponential model is y is equal to 100,000 multiplied by 1.06 to the power of t. Natural exponential function While an exponential function may have various bases, a frequently used base is the number e, which is approximately 2.71828. The definition, the natural exponential function is the function f of x is equal to e to the power of x. Problem, a large slab of meat is taken from the refrigerator and placed in a preheat oven. The temperature T of the slab T minutes after being placed in the oven is T is equal to 170,165 multiplied by e to the power of 0.006 t degrees celsius construct a table of values for the following values of t 0 10 20 30 40 50 60 and interpret the results now when t is equal to 0 the temperature is 5 when t or the time t is 10 the temperature is 15 degrees celsius when the time is 20 the temperature is 24 degrees celsius when the time is 30 the temperature is 32 degrees celsius when the time is 40 the temperature is 40 degrees celsius when the time is 50 the temperature is 47 degrees Celsius and when the time is 60, the temperature is 54 degrees Celsius. The slab of meat is increasing in temperature at roughly the same rate. Now here is the reference from Lago Julie B. A. General Mathematics Quarter 1, Module 4, Exponential Functions from DepEd Northern Mindanao. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please subscribe to Analyze Math for more content.